So here are some of the key things that I, I take away from my conversation with Nelson and really what drives me. When I look at, if I meet with a client and we're gonna design a policy, these are some of the things, these are my values and hopefully the client's values and, and, and then we're meshing together. Because not every client's gonna mesh with you. I heard a C, um, CEO of one of the companies I write with he, and it was so powerful. He says, we're writing policies today that we're going to have to pay off in a death claim 100 years from now. Think about that. We're going to be long, I'm going to be long gone in 100 years. I don't know about the rest of you guys. But. I want to talk about the thought process behind a policy because each individual person needs to develop their each, in, for each individual client, you have to develop an individual policy. And what I see Myself, you know, I'm not, ab I'm not above anything I'm saying here because I find myself in the same trap. Again, I've been doing IBC for 15 years probably, 12 years, 13 years. I say, you just don't get this pretty bearded face to go along with that. You get 15 years of mistakes. What does it take to, to develop the perfect IBC policy or any IBC policy? You know, and these, again, these are I thought were mine, but they weren't. Um, I said time, money, and discipline. That's kind of, was kind of, whenever I start a meeting, if I'm doing a go-to meeting, I have my name there and then on my, my writing pad I'll have TMD, time, money, and discipline. And I talk about this with every client because this is how important it was, it is to me. They might fit into a, you know, 90% of them or 80% of them are gonna fit probably in the same kind of policy structure that you put together for all your clients because you're gonna retract people that are like you for the most part, right? But it's gonna be that 10% that if we don't truly listen to them, not just hear them, but truly listen to them, that we're gonna put them in a position that, boy, it's, it's tough for them, or we're gonna put them in a bad position because we didn't listen to what their needs or concerns were. You know, I got a guy that says, hey, we got, um, I was working with another guy, we got $300,000 that he wants to put in over 10 years. Great, let's do that, let's, we can design that. We depend on policy cash values and riders to make our sales. How long before changes in our industry put us out of business? Right? Because what's, what's going to happen in our world five years from now, ten years from now, next year? Everything's going to change. Right? Our responsibility is to teach banking, banking process, and, banking and building banking habits. Above all, that's the most important thing because that's never going to leave us, right? That's been around for thousands, this has been around for thousands of years. This has been around for hundreds of years. The thought process of how we think about money, how we teach our clients to think about money, and the process and habits we build with them is probably the most important thing. That's all I got, any questions, any thoughts?